everybody, this is not a spring chick. And the big, oh, actually, should I just say? Here's the, here's the big news. Global warming is a fact. In fact, it's so much a fact, you know, all these other things don't exist. There's no reason to discuss, okay, so I'm freezing. Or this is happening. No, it is a fact. No reason to discuss it any further. Nor to talk about the prices of dairy and the impending, oh, let's just say, you're having problems with the food stamp program and what they're doing with the farm bill. So right now, expect milk to be $8 a gallon. So for now, we're going to bring, oh, is that a fact? Like global warming? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Camel with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said it is now because the President of the United States, uh, okay, the President of the United States is on full, you know, I love that we don't have enough civility, and then goes out and does, um, uh, what was it, they said a 17,000 word attack on the Republican Party and the, da and the danger that this nation has from the Republicans, and that they want their, you know, that uh, he, he cannot give any more, like they said, well, we're now, we're, we've got this bill, and he, now he's going to have to deal with this, no, because the Republicans folded on everything, I mean, they basically, oh, well, we're only taking stuff away from people, uh, you know, under the age of 62, and we're all, and we're only taking it away from, you know, the, you know, the 20 or 30 thousand wounded veterans, and we're only taking it away from the veterans that over that uh, that are over um, 30 and are fully uh, full of disability pensions. But we're not taking anything other than cost of um, cost of living allowances away from them, which means that they get less and less every year. Oh, and we're only going to make them pay for their only pay for their part of what they're getting. Mm -hmm. Other than that, they did nothing. So the guy, uh, one of the people said uh, to basically is Ron Johnson, the guy. Uh, I heard Republican. One of the people in the military said, you know, um, f you, you son of a bitch and bastard. Mm -hmm. He said, he said you screwed. Well, you said that you didn't, approve, you didn't like what you did, but you had to do it to bring, you know, a ba ba balance back. He said. You shafted us, you shafted all the farmers in this country, you increased spending, and he said there's not a single person on the people that voted that wouldn't vote to increase spending every time the president brings it up. Mm. He said, you didn't care. He said, this is just because you and you love to spend money that you don't have and to screw people. And he said, that, he said wait till you come up for re-election. We remember. <laughs> well, they can't win without the military vote. And Obama turns to attacking anyone that says Obamacare is a disaster. Oh God, it, this, this is, oh, I mean, it, it stuff is getting to be so ridiculous. I mean, even, you know, the comics are basically his latest thing where he's got uh, some guy dressed in, a, you know, pajamas and he's at home. his parents are basically, uh, the big Christmas talk is more important than presents, you know, and, and he's sitting around the table. Well, we have been to unbelievable amount of forums where they said the one thing that doesn't happen anymore is families don't sit down and talk about anything together. They don't sit at a dinner table, they don't sit at a breakfast table, they don't watch programs together, but the one thing that they're going to do, which is important, is they're going to sit down in front of the TV set at the breakfast table at night when they're having, you know, when the sun comes in to get something out of the refrigerator. No, this is more important. We, we have to make certain you have help, uh, affordable care. Uh, like they said, uh, you know the last thing that's on any teenagers through college is mind. Is, I, I listened to one of the women yesterday, they said, well, I was that age, all I wanted to do was go out and jump on guys and get drunk. <laughs> so he said, he said, if my mom and dad would have said, we have to talk about affordable health, he said, I didn't even go home for four years, mm -hmm. so you know, it's because I didn't want to hear what the, I didn't want to hear mom and dad. You know, you're getting a bad reputation. She said, Good, can you tell me? Well, did that see what? So this is a, this is a newscaster that's in her fifties, and she said, young people don't want to have their mom and dad telling them they got to read anything. And John Kerry expresses regret over Indian diplomats' arrest. And the regret this morning was the State Department was saying that the people are going to have to obey the laws in our country. If we have a law, it's meant to be obeyed no matter who it is. And they basically just set the whole diplomatic... Okay, he basically said F you to the entire world and made every single one of our diplomats in danger because of Obama. This guy is totally... 
they, okay, here's the thing this morning. They said the Obama said in his, in his speech, massive 17,000 word speech, that uh, that this country has been in a stage of collapse since 1979, and it's time that we turn this country back the way it should be. Uh, here's a good one. You know, the it, it collapsed the same time that the, the Democrats were in control of the presidency, the House, and Senate, and Obama started college. They seem to. They said the president seems to uh, doesn't. Okay, he doesn't write his own speeches. It's obvious because he never reads them until he he reads them on a the teleprompter in front of him, and he had no idea somebody in his speech put down the country stopped being the way it was. Great, you know, right when the Democrats took control and when he became a freshman in college. Mm. You think that he would have said that if he'd have read it? Mm. Uh, and woman walking dogs attacked by bear in central Florida. God, the bear, I mean, the bears are coming down into the cities now. They must be hungry. Well, no, I mean, I got, I have raccoons and possums and every god awful thing you can think of over at my complex because I, you know, I live, you know, where there is a big, uh, there are two, several parks over there, but they're not supposed to be down. I mean, this is 40, 50 miles from where they Yeah, from fly. where they would be. So how far did the bear go? Uh, probably 100 miles. Oh, that's, uh, he, he got lost. No, he came directly, he couldn't get lost. He was aiming directly for where he knew the food was. Ah. Uh, and people are food. Ah. Uh, and Obamacare, shoppers pay Jan pay, can pay January 10th for January 1st coverage. No, they can't. He didn't understand <laughs> that. Oh, the, here's the big news they found out this morning. Big news item that I, I, I've not been able to understand how you can make money off of Medicaid when it's a losing proposition. Well, BS says there's a little provision in the in the Obamacare Act that says that that while you can uh, not charge people that Medicaid is a free service, you can means test. What does that? And mean? if you have to, if you have too much wealth, for instance, you have a very you have a health problem, you have to pay for that health problem one way or the other, even if you don't have the money, which means. Your home, your cars, all your personal property can be seized under a means test to pay for the medical care you're getting under Medicaid now. Mm -hmm. Which means that they seize, they seize your house, sell it, and they basically make a profit off the sell. So they said that um, also it penalizes you if you're married. Mm -hmm. So that you, in order to save your house, you have to be divorced. But don't worry, under some states' laws, they can't throw you out of your home that you've lost because you got sick. Oh, oh, the President of the United States said that that was one of the main reasons for bankruptcy was health care. Under the, under the Affordable Care Act, it causes you to lose everything because you're not allowed to declare bankruptcy under Medicaid. What? That's a health care, health care, and you're not allowed bankruptcy then to save anything. Oh. Great, isn't it? Mm hmm And he can't understand why people are unhappy. Well, and Russia needs Arctic presence to guard against a U.S. threat, Putin. Yeah, well, because they actually set on the Arctic. They set there to begin with. Oh, they do? Remember, oh, you, true. Remember, you can see Russia from from, uh, uh, from Alaska. From Alaska, and they just want their fleet back there. As Pennsylvania race kicks off, the governor faces disapproval. Well, he's a Republican that basically is a left-wing Republican, and and even though Pennsylvania is, Pennsylvania is a moderate state, and this guy is to the left, and he's just... He had done nothing but disagree with the Republican-controlled legislature and going to get his butt thrown out as a result. His popularity is, uh, is somewhere around Barack Obama's. And as Pennsylvania race kicks off, gov oh wait, Constitution check is cohabitation the next constitutional right? Yeah, what? that they're going to say that you cannot toss a person. You know what, where it says that males and females not stay in the same dormitory mm -hmm. room and that and you can't, and they have men only uh, uh, facilities or women only. Well, that's going to be declared unconstitutional by the Obama administration. Right now, okay, if you like your bull, you can go have sex with your bull and marry your bull, according to Obama. <laughs> yeah. And how will Chile's president elect Bachelet tackle immigration reform as an example to Americans? Yeah, but, you, know, you know how they tackle immigration reform in any other country but ours? They put them on ships or airplanes and send them back to the country they came from and bill the country for doing it. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, this is always a good one. The devil is always in the fine print that no one ever reads. <laughs>